Healthy Start is a programme designed to increase the physical activity levels of children in early years settings. We do this by training and supporting the staff who work with them to integrate physical activity into all areas of the early years curriculum. Physical activity is really important in early years. It's really important for their physical um, health and well-being but also for their development as well so it helps develop the physical skills that they need so their gross motor skills but also the fine motor skills for writing and things like that so active start is not just about um, implementing kind of traditional PE sessions or outdoor sessions integrating physical activity into all areas of learning and across the early years curriculum but it also supports them to develop healthy and strong bones and muscles and it gives them opportunities to develop their social skills emotional skills and communication as well and hopefully instills in them a love of movement and activity that they'll take through the rest of their lives. We chose to take part in Active Start Training um, with RISE because we had really low baselines um, on entry in September for gross motor in particular and we noticed that because the physical skills weren't up to scratch it had a, a dramatic impact on the rest of the prime and the specific areas. So I feel the benefits to the staff after doing the training is how easy it is to just pick up. I think it's also increased confidence in our newer members of staff within the early years team. So even if it's not myself or um, Miss Pape, the other reception teacher leading on the gross motor time, they can still pick it up, look at the card, it gives them everything they need to know, it shows them exactly what skills it's covering and what areas of development it's using. So yeah, it's, it's helped that confidence a lot. So it's had huge benefits on the children from lots of small things like putting their coats on. You would be amazed how many of them really struggled to put their coats on at the beginning of the year, doing up zips, using the dinner trays in the dinner hall accurately. We don't have any spillages or when we do, it's very few. We loved the training because of the resource park. Workload is massive, so we couldn't. We didn't want to go away and have to get find things for ourselves. So it's literally you pick up the card. It's been unbelievable. Last week we had our assessment week, and our data so 37% were on track and baseline. It's now up to 71% on track of just promoting gross motor. So a massive improvement. We're hoping now to see a difference in literacy so that those fine motor skills be focused on as well to see it impacting across. It's easy to pick up. There's not hours and hours of CPD to go through. Um, there's, you pick out cards, so it's, it's easy to resource. I just think if, if you can see that gross and fine are an area that needs development, just, just run with it. It's so easy. It's helped the children a lot basically, it helps them develop in all sorts of ways, physically, socially, emotionally, like it just helps them to progress when they're going through nursery into reception and then in from reception to year one. So my favourite aspects are just the variety of the games, like all of the different games, there's books to do where you can like help them to interact doing different things, not just all physical, like you can read a book and get them to interact in that way, you can get them to do physical things, you can get them to do things that involve literacy and maths, you can do all sorts with all the games. So the staff that done the training with me, like we all work in different schools, nurseries, um, and we do community classes as well, and we we'll all do it differently, and obviously we we'll all take our different steps with all the games that are provided, so doing it all differently helps all of our children that we we'll work with. My favourite aspect is probably um, the variety that there is there. I sometimes found before I did the training that I would have the same bank of activities to develop their, their physical skills, both gross motor and fine motor. Probably gross motor more so, I just had the same like kind of ones that I went back on rotation. So it's allowed me to branch out a little bit and not, and then I feel like the kids don't feel as bored with it either, because I'm not, you know, we've got lots of different options to choose from. Another huge reason um, that you should do the training and take it on in your setting is because it's accessible for everybody in your class. It doesn't matter um, whether you've got a high proportion of SEND pupils, everybody can access it. Um, and we've got quite a high percentage of EAL children as well with English as an additional language. And what we found is they're able to really pick it up because it's lots of actions, there's stories, there's pictures that link into it. It's just fab for everyone in the class.